Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to introduce Newman and Newman is again another command line tool which is under the open source umbrella from the Postman itself. And whatever we have seen from the Postman command line interface, you will get a lot more functionality and feature within Newman that will be available to run the collection, right? So if we simply see the details, some of the posts from Postman blog itself, you will see that Newman will run and test your collection from the command line, right? So this was basically under the open source uh, tool from Postman and whatever we have seen from the Postman command line interface, you can do same thing from the Newman as well. Postman CLI might become, you know, a paid tool, but Newman being the open source should be free to use over the period of time. Okay. Now, as we have installed Postman command line interface, right? So similarly, we have to also install Newman, right? So if you simply Google Newman install, there is a blog post on the Postman. So support.postman. So how to install Newman. If you open this link, you will see that first thing we need is that you need a node package manager, right? So if you have npm installed, you can run the command, which is npm install hyphen G Newman, and it will automatically install it. But because we don't have the npm or node.js, right? So node.js, we first have to go ahead and download and install. Okay, so what exactly is node.js? So node is the JavaScript runtime environment for running the JavaScript code on your local computer, right? So usually JavaScript, we know that it runs in the browser, but then node is runtime environment, which you can install on your computer on the server and you can run the JavaScript code on your computer, right? So the first thing is we have to go to this node first step, download and install node.js and then run the command this to install the Newman in the command line interface. Okay, so now in order to get node.js, I'll simply click on this link here and you'll see the downloads node.js download here, right? So the latest, uh, go ahead with the LTS recommended for most users, right? So current is the most latest one with the latest features, but you can go with either, right? But I'll go with the LTS, which is recommended for most users. And depending on the machine that you are, the operating system, whether you are on the Mac OS or Windows, you can go ahead and install it, right? I'm on Windows, so I will simply go ahead and click on this Windows installer to download the Newman or uh, sorry, Node.js and then install it, right? So how you will identify whether you need to download the 32 bit or 64 bit? So simply go to the my computer basically. Okay, so this PC, okay, and simply say, okay, right click properties and it will open the system properties. And then here you will see that system type is 64 bit or operating system x64 based processor, right? So I will go ahead with the 64 bit download. Okay, so I'll go ahead here and simply click on this 64 bit windows installer which will be an installer.msi file which i can go ahead and directly double click 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 and install okay so i'll simply click on this 64 bit and you'll see the download has happened successfully i'll simply go ahead and open the file and you'll see windows installer is preparing to install and you'll see i'm on the welcome to node.js setup wizard okay i'll simply go ahead click on next accept read the terms okay so make sure you have read all the terms uh, and then accept the terms for the license agreement click on next and this is where node.js will be installed okay so i'm happy with this path you can change the path if you want to change the location of the node.js and then click on next all right uh, here you have some of the custom setup so click the icons in the tree below to change the way features will be installed right i'll keep it as default right whatever is there okay uh, install the core node.js runtime node.exe. I'll just keep it as is. I click on next and then here you will have option automatically install the necessary tools. Um, this will also install other. So basically I don't need any of the uh, or simply just select if you want to install the necessary tool. But uh, this is for the native module, right? So optionally install the tools necessary to compile any native module, right? By default, it is unchecked. I don't think we are going to use any of these details for the Newman. So I'll keep it unchecked, whichever was the default setting there and click on next. Okay. And then click on install. And now the installation will start and it should finish pretty soon. Okay. So I'll say yes. And then you'll see that it is validating the installation 
details and copying the files okay so completed the node.js setup wizard okay we'll simply go ahead and click on finish right it has been installed successfully this is the message that you will get i'll click on finish okay so we have installed node.js right now the next command that we have to run in order to install newman is if we have uh, the npm installed now with this node.js the npm was already part of that package right so you'll see that uh, it displayed somewhere during the installation process that npm is already packaged within it okay so npm should be there already okay let's quickly go ahead and check it so now what we'll do is i'll close this command line and let's open the command line okay and let's see if npm is recognized if it is recognized now after node.js installation then that means that npm is already is yeah so you can see that npm is recognized now okay and now we can run the npm command which is node package manager right so we are basically with npm we can install or manage any of the dependency or the packages with just npm command and providing whatever we want to install right so simply what we want to do we want to say npm install hyphen g okay no newman this is the only command now that we have to basically run in the command line interface which is basically just this command line okay whatever command line that we have we simply copy and paste that particular command npm install hyphen g newman okay and now newman will be installed from the node package manager it will be downloaded and installed successfully on our machine you'll see that the installation is in progress okay so you will see added 112 packages okay and then you will see new minor version of this npm available so if you want to install or update the npm version you can basically run npm install hyphen g npm to update okay so this command is also shown here if you want to basically update the npm version then we can go ahead and run this particular command but that's not mandatory right npm is node package manager node package manager version 9.5.1 is already with us if you want to only upgrade then you go ahead and upgrade okay so i'll quickly go ahead and update it to 9.8.1 so i have the latest npm okay so now this npm version has been updated as well so now if you want to see what all npm commands are there so if i say npm hyphen v i should be able to get the version okay let me see if it gives me the version with hyphen v yep so you'll see now the npm version is 9.8.0 now we have also installed newman the whole process was to basically install newman first node uh, node.js and then run the npm command to node package manager command to install newman right so now if i say newman okay and enter newman should be recognized from the command line right now why you need to install uh, the uh, the same way we installed the postman cli we are now be able to see or the command line is able to identify newman command because newman dependency or whatever prerequisite are there for newman are already installed and we have node.js as well as newman installed right now you'll see to see the version of the newman you simply say hyphen v and to get the help you will have the hyphen right now in terms of options and commands you will see that it's almost similar to what we have seen in the command line postman cli right so the learning curve if you have learned or if you have watched the postman command line videos it will be almost similar when we go ahead and learn the post or a newman cli or newman commands as well right so just go ahead with that particular you know if you have already watched the postman cli videos then go ahead and practice the same sort of command or the same way that i have told in the previous videos with the newman anyways i'm going to cover the whole topic of how you can execute the postman collection with newman in the upcoming videos okay so the newman version is 5.3.2 and then there are certain commands which we'll understand in the upcoming video okay so that's all about the installation of node.js and newman within your windows machine i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching